Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about rear wall diffusion. I work a lot in the studios in Los Angeles, the old studios built back in the 60s and 70s. All of those that produce really good product, you know, really good sounding recordings consistently all the time, they all have rear wall diffusion and it's all quadratic. Now it will be two dimensional or one dimensional, it just depends on the studio and distances and things like that. But any studio that creates a good sounding product and it's consistent over different music genres that you work in is something you want. You want that room that you mix your uh, energy in to perform predictably and consistently. You don't want to have it with any irregularities. You want to smooth it out, balance everything out as best you can. So what's the function of rear wall diffusion? Well, it's to minimize that slap back, right? Because if we have our console here and we're mixing and we get our speakers producing energy and it strikes that rear wall and then it comes back and strikes our ears, this back and forth between the rear wall will eventually impact the mix. Just like the bounce off the console can have a negative impact on mix. But engineers realize that and they work around it. This is an easier workaround, the bounce off the console, but this rear wall reflection is time delayed. So it can create some phase issues in your mixes if you aren't careful. So what's the answer? Well, we know quadratic diffusion is the only one true diffusion. So we want to stick with quadratic because it satisfies all those rigid criteria of diffusion that, that's required for diffused sound fields. So we have our two choices, one dimensional or two dimensional. And let's take a look at this picture, because this picture will show you uh, some old school thinking. I know you've all heard that books are a great diffuser. Well, you arrange them, different depths and stuff like that, and that's a diffuser. Well, not necessarily, and it's not a consistent approach. And books have different widths and different thicknesses. So if you could find a bunch of books that were two inches wide, and you could arrange them in six, eight, nine inch depths, you could make a diffuser. It would also be an absorber too, because books are absorptive. So what I'm saying is it's not predictable and consistent. Is it better than a flat surface wall? Maybe, so you just have to see. But don't use books as a diffuser because they can't satisfy the criteria for a diffuse sound field. Now, it can Im impact reflections, but not enough of them at the right rate and level to have the impact that we want with this nightmare here. So let's stay with technologies that we know are pre predictable and consistent, and we can measure distances and calculate the exact diffuser that we need for that situation. So in this picture, we have one dimensional in the middle, and then we got the books all the way around it. So we're already inconsistent, and the one dimensional diffuser that we have in the rear is not the correct. Uh, frequency response that we need and we need even if it was we needed to cover the whole surface area so a little bit of old school and new school thinking in this picture and I wanted to bring it to your attention because it violates a lot of the rules that we we have with diffusion one books are really not diffusers okay just like plants are not diffusers I know people call me all the time say well I'm gonna put some plants there and I'm like well Great, they're right next to the window. Wonderful. We now have glass and plants. Life is good. See, so now we're in trouble. But the bottom line here is we want to stay consistent. We can use one or two dimensional depending on the distance. And we don't want to have things that we think will work. We have to have things that we know will work because if you're making an income in this room, you want it to behave the same way all the time. So that's what we're looking at for this rear wall situation and diffusion. So keep that in mind when you're uh, treating your room and we can help you select the right diffusion technology for your room situation. You can buy it from us or you can build it yourself, whatever option uh, you choose to do. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. 
There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.